every time there's a Google update, um, we have a problem having pages indexed. And one of the reasons that's, that's the case is because Google is uh, updating its indexing methods, the crawlers are getting updated, and usually the crawlers are not even working as well as they should be because m maybe they're uh, being retracted or, you know, there something's going on behind the scenes. And so you have a problem getting your pages indexed. Now, you might also have a problem getting your pages indexed if you were a new site or if you are a real large website. And if you if you've been doing SEO for any length of time, you know that getting your pages indexed is one of the keys to ranking. If your pages are not indexed, you're not going to rank. And that goes for regardless of whatever size your website is. So in this video, I'm going to take a look at how to get your website indexed. Well, right, so I just wanted to make this quick video to update every one of my subscribers that my audit service is now on my website, along with a, a month, my monthly SEO service. So both services are now on my website. With the website audit, you just need to go on there and buy, depending on how many pages you have on your website. Uh, with a monthly SEO service, you might have to get in touch with me because I will have to quote you based on your industry, number of pages and stuff like that. Uh, videos that I make out of these, the most in interesting ones and the more how-to ones will be on my website's blog. Uh, so make sure to check that out too. Uh, so we will create what's called an HTML sitemap. So most people watching this video are already familiar with what a, an XML sitemap is. It tells Google to crawl your website, but people can't see your XML sitemap. It's not on a, it's not on a page on your website. Uh, but an HTML uh, sitemap was on your website. It's right below sometimes, or it's right on top. It's, and it's, it's, it's there, it's an HTML, it's a page, it's a separate page where it links everything on your website. If you're using WordPress, you can put in a plugin and that will work. But in my experience, if you're using a plugin, uh, you're adding bulk to your, to your WordPress site. Also, there you, you're triggering potential uh, inconsistencies. Um, you might have a, a the bug might also be a security security issue, uh, as it was the case with one of my websites. So, what I'm gonna what I'm gonna show you here is a very simple method anyone can use uh, to create an HTML sitemap for their website. Exactly what you need to do after you create the uh, create the sitemap is you submit this to Google as you would submit a regular page. It gets crawled and Google will um, index up to a thousand pages, maybe even more in, in, in my experience. But uh, so this works for e-commerce, it works for uh, uh, blog posts, it works for review sites, it works for all kinds of websites. So, you know, there's no disclaimer. So let's jump into how to do it correctly. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is we'll head on over to this website, which is xmlsitemaps.com. We'll go here, as always, my test website is copywritingservicespro.com. Put that in and hit start. Now, we'll go ahead and process this. Now, I'll go ahead and click view sitemap details. Now, this generates both an XML sitemap and also a HTML sitemap. So I'm only interested in the HTML sitemap. I'm not even gonna download anything here. I'm just gonna go and click view HTML sitemap. So once this opens up, this is how the sitemap will look. Now, the reason I've chosen this as my test website is because it's a small website. It's already ranking. Many of the pages are already indexed. And so this goes through really quickly. If you're a large website, it's gonna take longer. Now, we go in here and we click view source. And we click view source. Uh, if you're on Chrome, uh, you right click here and you go to view page source. I've already done that. So you go view source. This is the source of the page. Click here, new, copy all. So control A and control C. Um, you go to, this is my WordPress website's backend. I will go in here and I will mm, create a page. So I'll go here, add new page. And this will take a second to load um, because my internet isn't great. I'll go ahead and, okay, so we'll go here and we'll click this. We'll click code editor. I'll hit this here. We're gonna copy and paste the HTML. And over here, we'll do HTML sitemap. So H, we'll just put sitemap. Go ahead and we will hit publish publish 
and we could view page and this is how it looks on my website now this is not the best looking website i admit but this is how it will look and you've created an html site map now what you will do and this is probably the most important part of it is you'll go here you click on copy and then you'll go to your google search console so i'm in my google search console i will click over here um, copy and paste the html sitemap link hit enter or return um, it'll take a second and it'll say url is not in google i'll say request indexing i will hit this and testing if H if url can be indexed and um, one of the things you need to keep in mind and i'll say this again is that you will need to do this each time you update your website now if you're using a plugin you might not have to do this each time you update your website but i advise that you do not use a plugin and you do take the extra extra step if, if you don't have a really large website the extra step isn't going to take very really long and so um requ uh, index requesting has been completed you hit got it and you're done thank you for watching the video i hope you learned something like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video